what is up everybody uh, this is actually let's see I don't even know what day it is anymore but this is the second half to the video uh, where I left Pipestone so I was just on Pipestone with Jesse for five days or so and uh, she just dropped me off I just got back in my boat I threw my stuff back in here and I'm basically just gonna fish my way back towards the cabin tonight uh, I think it's like 3 30 right now or 4 o'clock I got some really nice clouds uh, it's a little windy but we'll see if I can put a fish in the boat. I'm going to be fishing by myself, I think today and tomorrow. But then I've got a really special guest coming up the day after that. So pretty excited about that. As of right now, I'm just going to get on the lake, see what the water temps are and such. And hopefully get a fish or two in the bag before it is dark. So let's get out of here. We are gonna start here, new spot, but I don't get out this way much, so might as well fish some new stuff. It's not fun fishing the same stuff all the time. Uh, I'm gonna fish this sand beach, or some boulders on the outside, pencil reeds over there. That rock kind of comes out, supposedly. Uh, as far as the bait, I, I stole Jesse's uh, hot bait from this morning. What a great boyfriend I am. Uh, but this is a musky frenzy, eight, nine, Pretty sweet bait, I will say, and that looks really nice in this tannic water. So this is where we're gonna start. And we're gonna go from here. It is quarter after four, so should be a good night. Hopefully I can stick one. Oh god, it scared the hell out of me. Whew. <laughs> Go away. So here's something really cool that uh, that I can show you guys. So this was a fish that came in super late in a follow. Um, I just about was about ready to pull my bait out of the water and I just seen a flash of a fish and it actually picked it up on my side imaging. I'm gonna go down here and look at it. Zoom in. So this is the actual fish itself that that's suspended. So this is the bottom. There's the fish going back down, and this is the shadow. So here's how you can tell it's a musky. Um, here's its nose, and then back here you can kind of see the fork and the tail, which is really cool. But I always run my screen on split like this. So I've got my my map here, and I've got my depth, and I've got my side imaging here. So you can always see what's going on. It's you can see a lazy follow that's here. You can see what kind of structure you're fishing or even you can just see fish that don't even come up on your baits but are just laying on the side and you can come back at them at a different time of day to see if they can bite. Oh, come on. Uh, never even saw the thing. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Whatever. That's not the one I want here. I raised like a 51 or a 52 here a few weeks back. Ugh. Whatever. That would have been nice. Three footer. Whatever. Just nipped at it. So that's two fish on this spot. The first one's just a flash. Oh, still on it. Just a little one. So, that fish just nipped and then followed. I just had a fish over here follow in on that saddle. And all the action's been on this, this frenzy, this 8-9. I, 
I switched, I think I've thrown three different bucktails, four different bucktails, and then a crankbait, and this thing by far did the best. Um, even though I didn't really throw it as much as I threw that other stuff, I don't think. Kind of interesting, but I got one more spot, and then I'm going to head on in for the night. Talk to Forrest, see what he had to say about today. I think he had a musky trip. So yeah, go to Miami Beach for the last spot of the night. Get some food. Get some sleep. That looks like a fish. Tight to the bottom. Another one. That might be a third. Okay. That one right there, that's number three for sure. And there was another one that might have been four. God, they're stacked. In the wood. That one is. There's another one. Right there. There's four muskies here. That's a that looks long. It's crazy. Top water time. All right, guys, that is going to conclude today. Um, I don't know, just kind of getting a feel back for the woods. I guess got got back today. Been gone for a while. Really cool. Right at the end of the night, I saw four fish on side imaging. That was really cool. But I think I seen ten today. I only had a couple really good follows that I showed you guys and then lost those two that nip. So it is what it is. We've got a big cold front coming in tomorrow, so it's going to be kind of a struggle tomorrow, I think. But then the rest of the week looks better and better each day. So it's musky fishing. Just going to go out there, do what I can, and hopefully uh, put a fish or two in the bag. So I'll see you guys in the morning.